it's not, you won't hear the wastegate. And what that is, it's the air stacking up on this side. So when you give it a, when you get on the throttle, you have this big column of air yeah. moving through. And then when you dump the throttle, or get off the throttle, the throttle plate's closed, but that still has lots of momentum. Right. So it opens the wastegate so the turbo will come down, because if, if it didn't, it would just keep spinning and building boost. And when the throttle plate's closed, you don't need boost. So this stays, stays charged. But that sound that you're hearing is the is the air getting chopped up on the intake side of the impeller. Like, yeah, and the, the columns move. That column of air is moving through, and then as, when you stop the throttle plates, that column stops. You know, but has momentum, right? So that's when it's going. It's basically chewing the last half of the air log. I don't know what else to call it, but you know what I mean. Yeah, and so we've ridden this sled in really deep snow, fortunately, and. I've noticed when I chop the throttle and I've got snow on the hood that it blows the vents free. <clears throat> Is that yeah, on purpose? Be, well, that's just the nature of the, the, the characteristics of the airflow in the turbo, basically. Because when, you, when we talk about dropping the throttle, the throttle plate's closed, that big column of air is moving through, it doesn't have anywhere to go now. So it's, so it's going back out. Well, it's not going back out. It's okay. just you have this volume going through there. And it creates like a, I don't, know how, I don't know best way to describe it, but you have this air, the air that's going through the air box, moving through, and it's this big column of air. And if you could color it, and I think we do have a cutaway where it shows the air and it's like a, huh. this big mass. So when you let off, <coughs> throttle plates close, that air stop, that air stops moving here, but up here it's still moving. It has oh, okay. momentum. Yeah. So it's, it's vibrating like this in the air box, in the intake track, and can't get through the impeller because the throttle plate's closed. So it, it, that's why it vibrates and it just sheds all the snow off the intake. It's which is perfect. actually a it's pretty so handy cool. tool yeah. if you're riding in like a f crappy fog because yeah. it'll keep shedding and shed the intake. So if it's, if it's you know, starting to ice over, you can just do that right. intentionally, like, you know, well, play with the throttle or, and uh, it'll clean off the engine. In the past, we've had problems with, you know, bogging in deep snow and like no BS, this sled has never bogged down on it. So it's super no. cool. It's a little <clears throat> added bonus. Well, and to be totally honest, it's, this is helping right here as well. So pressure sensor, you know, that uh, that is telling the engine what's happening. Okay. You know, and and the other thing is the volume of the silencer on this thing. So when you look in it, like traditionally, you know, we've had pretty small silencers, like you know what a normal size would be. Yeah. Is half this size, pretty much. Right. The diameter. And so is now that the, the huh? volume in here, and you look at the volume because the the stinger on a naturally aspirated 850 uh, is relatively close to the size of the turbine wheel yeah. in here, you know. Less so tell me about the uh, so waste gate again and why why it's the shape that it is. So the, if, I don't know if you can get a look in here, but if you see the the shape of the waste gate is the, is an important part of it too because when it's triangulated like this, rather than just a round wastegate, it doesn't just dump all the pressure inside. It's it, progressive. Yeah, it's progressive. So on the point, when it opens up the, the point, it just lets a little bit out. Yeah. And if it really needs to dump it, then opens it up and it gets a big volume out. But if it just needs to bleed it off, like and that's where that partial mid throttle and you're hearing it go, and that's not the wastegate that you're hearing, it's the air. But what's happening is the wastegate is opening and in small increments, right? Right Perfect. when, right when you're in, right yeah. on the cusp of it, starting to come on to boot. It's not all or nothing. It's yeah. just what's needed, which yeah. retains response. Yeah. Along with this uh, bypass valve. Yep. Yeah, and and really, once like this is really at pretty much dead idle. Yeah. Like, and to just off of there, if you hold it wide open, once you're you know, into engagement, it's not gonna go, it's breathing through the turbo, it's right. not breathing through the But bypass. that makes a huge difference if you're, yeah, you know, initially. in a bad predicament and you need every bit of it from the start. Right from my Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's made a huge difference in my riding. 
and on the race course. You know, when you're coming into a corner, you have to shut down fully and you find your line, you stab it. You're not waiting that millisecond every corner, which adds up to, you know, the tenths of a second that we're either losing, losing or, losing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, they really did. You know, in this project, um, I'm afraid would would have the exact dates or whatever, but man, it would be easily in the seven year range that this thing's been on the table. Wow. So so for all you folks out there that think they just threw this out to the public for you to guinea pig, no. no. They have been putting they, miles and miles and kilometers or whatever you want to call it. Millimetrics. <laughs> so this thing is uh, tested. No. Not a cool <laughs> Air miles. Air miles. Oh, so, yeah, uh, miles. yeah they, uh, they nailed it. Yeah. And, you know, even you look in the airbox design, like some of it's for sound, but this is also to pick up speed. Yeah. You know, and to help the air flow right. fast. You know, and that channels. Even, yeah, channels the air. So even for throttle response, you know, even on a the normally aspirated side of things, this helps speed the air up. I see. It's well, really well thought out, you know, and and really when they had the 850 architecture, they intended from day one for it to have boost. Yeah. So structurally and or architecturally, it was designed from that yeah. for that from the planning ahead. Yeah. Cool. So it's not like they just decided to put a turbo on or just make this project like it's literally has been in the works for at least seven years wow. which what, is pretty cool what will they think of next mm. oh you can't say that <laughs> I, like it. Mm. I don't think so d twin d fours <laughs> like the old an you remember that thing yeah. that thing was was really pretty cool engineering piece like for in 19 whatever late 80s early 90s and that that was a pretty iconic piece